What's up guys, welcome to my first tutorial for the stage animations. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you ways to create realistic um, ways to make detailed uh, textures and graphics using After Effects. So right here I'm going to have a Minitron and I'm going to find something I want to use. Okay, this looks good. This is the raw Minitron. It's, you know, you slap this into your stage, you think. You know, that's not going to pull off real realism. So what we do is go ahead and drop this into After Effects. And then once that loads up, we'll take a look at what we got from there. Okay, so now that After Effects is open, I'm going to go ahead and drag this into new comp. And to create ways to make this uh, detail to texturize, there's a couple ways we can do it. We're going to go to the Effects Presets panel. I'm going to go over here, and we can do one of two things. We can type in CC Ball Action, or you could just scroll under until you find it. It's easy just to type it, and you're going to want to drop and drag it on there, and you see that it's going to give you that pixelated effect. So, I'm going to actually turn this down just a bit, and I'm going to turn this down just a bit. See, if you go to three, it gets too big. She said, so you know, you could, you could play around with this to your liking, and uh, it gives you that detailed look of the LEDs on there. Um, actually, you go ahead. It looks just like what you would see when they have a close-up shot of it. You know, granted, you know, you could do, you could change this. Fuzzy or not. Then see if you add more ball sizes. That's when it starts to look, you know, real bad. So you want to keep it around the two area. Okay, so here, I'm going to just drop this in the third quality and do a RAM preview. Okay, so now you can see here, it looks much better. It's playing, the graphics playing like normal, and it, but it looks, it looks better though. You could, you could see the difference. Let me go ahead and do it 200 times. So it's like someone standing on the stage base. Exactly, you see exactly how it looks like when they got a camera up there. So that's one way to do it. That looks good. To me, that pin, in my opinion, that looks a little too much of an effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more, one more way you could do this. I'm gonna go ahead and type in checkerboard. It's under generate. And see, so you get these, you get these boxes here like checkers, and I'm gonna go ahead and use these as uh, pixels or a LED board. Um, the LED board that they used at WrestleMania 27 for the stage. It wasn't made out of, uh, you know, circle LEDs, but flat uh, LEDs. So here, I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to go ahead and change this size, the opacity... I find it comfortable anywhere around the 20 range. See, if you change to black, it'll blend in uh, too well unless you increase the opacity. 
So, on a dark graphic like this, it's, you gotta play around with it. So, usually I like to keep it white. And then keep the opacity at around 20. And then it's up to my discretion how I want the pixels to look. So you can usually look happy. And somewhere right there. So now, if you zoom in, you can see they're not pixels like before, how they were, the graphic was made out of individual circles, but it does look, you know, it does look squared off more because of the checkerboard is squared. So when it's squared off, it makes it look like it's got some kind of texture. So those are just two ways I like to play with it. Obviously, you can choose your own or you could find your own techniques. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and this tutorial helped you out. And be sure to comment and subscribe for more videos in the future. I will see you guys later. Peace.